Hi guys, how are you all there? I have to show you its seam, it looks like a big hole. Tearing paper. I sampled it on paper to see how it's sewed. If you notice, it looks like the paper is being torn. What if it's in textile? Isn't the seam already ugly when it's actually there? It doesn't sew well when your machine is running like this. This kind of stitches is not suitable, it will ruin its clothes. The problem with the stitches and feeding is that the needle and feed dogs are not at the same time when it runs, they are not compatible. If you notice that circle that is pressed there is a problem inside. That should be fed. Let's open it up so we can see the bottom of it, I think it's stock up, so we can know what happened down here. I think it will run out of oil before it reaches us. There's its screw removed, let's remove its cover. There is one more cover that is small let's remove it. I just fast forward a bit because my videos are a bit long. We will soon see the bottom of it. What's going on under here? This we have already opened. Oh, it's all rust, I think even shafting that it has rust. Let's put more rust softener like WD-40 to soften its screws. He is soft to twist in the hand well. This is the stock up, the stitches push buttons hard to twist. The inside is really rusty, soft if it's a hand well, it's the one that pushes the push buttons on the top before we take off its covers. It looks so hard I can't push it with my fingers. That's why it's hard to push its push buttons. Maybe it's soft so we need tools to remove it like a hammer. And chisels and screwdrivers. Try to cradle it if it moves. We still have to open it on the left side. For our movements to be spacious. Let's remove it from the side to see it here too. Let's start loosening the screws and slowly tighten clockwise or counterclockwise rotation. I first removed other blocked spare parts to loosen its movements before we move it clockwise or counterclockwise. Then put more lubricant like oil. To soften it even more. I just squeeze more and more front and back until it softens. Now that it has softened, I can put back the spare parts I removed. Before I finish, how are you all there? Shout out to my silent viewers, thank you very much. Who never gets tired of watching my videos? Thank you very much for your support. If you are new to my channel don't forget to like comment and share. Don't forget to hit the all notification bell. So you can always be updated with the. Thank you. More blessing.